When you're managing development teams at scale, the common challenges you run into are that the delivery processes are too slow, disconnected, and often poorly aligned to business objectives. So let's walk through how the CloudBeast platform can help you and your teams get the results you want through increased development consistency, visibility across tools, teams, and workflows, and intelligence and analytics. The core of the solution is the release workflows. These are where your team maps out the full end-to-end -end software delivery processes. The release is broken into different stages, often corresponding to a given environment, such as QA or production. Each of the stages are made up of tasks that can be anything from a deployment to an integration with a third-party tool, or even a manual task. As an orchestrator, first and foremost, the tool can meet your team where they are today without requiring them to change the way that they operate. They can easily add steps to run their current pipelines and scripts to get instant consistency and reliability on every run. Over time, optimizations can be implemented to speed up the releases, helped along in part by the analytics the platform provides. The release can be triggered automatically or manually. Often this will run automatically when the developers merge code into the main source code branch. This whole process will typically begin with your developers writing their code. If they're adding new functionality, they can wrap it behind a feature flag, one of the other capabilities of our platform that enables them to progressively roll it out to their users. Once the code is committed to the source control system, a continuous integration pipeline that tests and builds the code runs. If the CI job failed, the developer will be notified and can fix their code. Otherwise, once the code is merged into the main branch, it can trigger the release. Every organization's releases will look different since everyone has their own set of tools and processes that they need to use. A common practice is to have a stage for data gathering to pull important contextual information about the release candidate. This can include information from issue trackers like Jira, source code tools like GitHub, and test results from tools like SonarCube. After this first stage, the rest tend to correspond to specific environments like QA or production. These include not only the deployments into the environments, but any additional test or validation steps as well. In the production stage, there may be a progressive rollout of the feature behind the feature flag. This can start with a particular segment of users like beta users, or as a percentage of random users. If the new feature is proving ineffective or is buggy, it can be turned off. Otherwise, it can continue rolling out to all users. Due to the critical role the release pipeline plays in software delivery, it's important that tasks are only run when it's safe to do so. To ensure that this happens, every stage has entry and exit gates that are built up of validation rules. These rules can be manual approvals or automatic checks based on conditional logic, testing data from the release run. Similarly, you'll want to be able to restrict who can modify the release and each of the tasks. Oftentimes you may want to give the developer some flexibility since individual teams often have their own tool preferences. But in order to keep the release compliant, certain steps may always need to occur, such as ensuring that a code quality scan was run and the results were good. This can easily be done using the RBAC system, which can set rules on every object in the release. Dealing with auditing is often a crucial, yet painful part of doing software delivery. Instead of having to manually gather information whenever there's an audit event, a full audit report is automatically generated with approvals, evidence from the various tasks, timing details, deployment information, and more. All of this so far has been for a single release. Oftentimes you'll have larger releases that encompass more than a single component or team. Traditionally, it can be challenging to keep track of dependent releases across different teams, but here you can easily manage and track all these dependencies in a single view. At a glance, you and your teams can identify any potential bottlenecks and risks that could delay the release. One of the important parts of the system is the ability to reuse created resources over and over again. Once the ideal compliant release pipeline is created, it can be used as the base for any new releases going forward. There is a service catalog where a list of these pre-created release pipelines along with other self-service resources, can be readily available for your teams. This will let your development team stay focused on their critical work, while another team, such as shared services, can pre-create these resources that fit the organization's best practices. Once the software delivery processes are mapped, you've got a common data model that allows you to correlate information across your various tools and to make data-informed decisions. Out of the box, there are several dashboards that highlight critical information for every team that is doing software delivery. This can include information like door metrics. If you've got a goal of increasing the frequency of your releases from monthly to weekly, you can quickly see how the teams are progressing towards this goal. You can also spot bottlenecks and areas to optimize in order to work towards this goal. And you can customize these existing dashboards or create brand new ones to fit your exact needs. It can be beneficial to align your software delivery goals with your business's larger objectives. Having a dashboard that illustrates this alignment and the progress towards your goals can help everyone stay on the same page. There is also a tactical dashboard for every release to help the individual delivery teams understand how they are tracking towards their target release. 
These are also fully customizable, so they can display the information specific to their set of tools. If you're looking to transform the way your organization delivers software, we'd love to help you get there.